Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to create a custom crafting recipe. Now, I'm starting off with a custom um, item and a custom block. You don't necessarily have to, but I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. Um, and the way we actually create a crafting recipe is that there's a single method we have to call inside of our load method. Now it doesn't have to be called inside of our load method, we can call it inside of another method um, and then call that method inside of the load method, which I like to do for the sake of organization. So I'm going to create a new method down here and it'll be um, private static void crafting recipes with no parameters and inside of our load method I'm just going to say crafting recipes. So now um, we can just put all of our crafting recipes inside of this method and it's very good for organization because I can just go ahead and minimize this and it all goes away temporarily. So the way we actually create a crafting recipe, um, for this example I'm going to be creating a crafting recipe for our block tutorial using the item tutorial um, diamonds and a dirt block. I don't know why I chose those, I just did. Um, is we say game registry dot add recipe and we're going to say new item stack. So the way you create an item stack is you'll say um, either an item or a block. In this case we're going to say block tutorial and then you define a number of that item or block. Um, in this case we'll just say four. And we're going to put a semicolon after it, but inside of it we're going to do what we did for the uh, custom creative tab if you watched that tutorial. And we're going to add these braces right here, and then we can go down here. Now before we do that we actually have to add a comma, or yeah, a comma, and say new object with brackets. Now. I already have item stack um, imported, you might have to import item stack. So the way we actually create the recipe is we're going to create a series of three strings and with uh, commas after all three. Now you don't necessarily have to have three strings, um, I will be showing you sort of how to customize the recipe and make it not require a full um, three by three crafting table, but for now we're just going to do this. So the way I want the recipe to be is I want it to have our item tutorial down the sides and in the middle with a diamond in the top center and dirt in the bottom center. So the way we're going to do this is each of these three strings represents a row in the crafting table and we're going to define these rows. So I'm going to with um, letters that we choose to represent the items and blocks. So I'm going to say T D, T for the top row, um, and then I'm going to say T, T, T for the middle row, and then T, um, lowercase d, T for the bottom row. Now, what do these letters mean? Well, these letters are completely arbitrary, and I just chose them to represent the different items and blocks that we're using. But we actually have to tell Minecraft what these um, letters represent. So the way we do this is we use a uh, char value, which is uh, using apostrophes instead of quotation marks, and we'll say capital T, comma, this dot, well, not even this dot, we can just say item tutorial, and then we add a comma. And what this is doing is it's saying that whenever it encounters a T, it should um, be an item tutorial. And now we go below it and we'll add another char value and we'll say capital D and we'll say item dot diamond and then another char and we'll say lowercase d. Note that, um, cap that capital and lowercase all are, they're two different uh, values. And we can say block dot dirt. Now if you were using a custom block then you would just do what we did uh, with this item tutorial. So this is going to create a crafting recipe if I go ahead and run the game um, that uses the entire 3x3 crafting grid. 
but sometimes you're not always going to want to do that and I'm going to show you in a second after I demonstrate this um, how you can make it use a smaller area I guess um, yeah so if we go ahead and get a crafting table out we need dirt we have a diamond and we have plenty of our tutorial items then we're going to go ahead and lay out these with the diamond and the dirt and you'll see it's going to give us four tutorial blocks which I can go ahead and place and all of that goodness now if we wanted to actually create a smaller um, area I guess then we could say completely um, eliminate this middle row and what this will do is it's going to tell Minecraft okay you only need two out of three rows and they're going to be uh, with the top row being like this and the bottom row being like this now it doesn't matter where in the crafting table we place those two rows but they're going to be placed um, they just have to be two rows like that. Now, if we wanted it to be like a two by two, we could just do this. And any, um, if it's only two values in the string, then it's only going to require two columns. So uh, this time, it's only going to require a tutorial ingot, tutorial ingot, diamond, dirt. Um, but it can be anywhere in the crafting table. And if we wanted to, say, have an empty space, then we're just going to add a space inside of the crafting recipe, and that'll be an, emptying, an empty space in the crafting recipe. Um, oh, there's my dog barking. Sorry about him. Um, Frodo, be quiet. Good boy. All right, yeah, my dog likes to bark at people walking by that he can see through the window. Okay, so now, if we go into the crafting recipe, uh, we need more dirt. If we go into the crafting recipe, and we just add, like this, you'll see we have the empty space in the middle, and we could put this in any row that we want. Um, and it'll still work. Now, finally, if you wanted to have an entire row be empty, then you're just going to add say we want the center row to be empty, we're, go we're going to add just blank um, quotation marks. So that is how you add a custom crafting recipe to the game. Source code will be in the description as usual. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.